All right, guys, so the things you're going to need for this project is Duplicolor Truck Spray Bed Liner, some frog tape or your choice of painter's tape, a spongy block of uh, sandpaper. I got two. This one's a 1680 grit. Some plastic drop cloth so you don't ruin your floors. And in this spray bottle is 91% rubbing alcohol. Uh, I put it in a spray bottle to make things a little bit easier. So uh, let me get started. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do if you're choosing to use a drop cloth is to get the drop cloth put down. Then add your sawhorses or whatever you're using to support the toolbox. Then add your toolbox. All right, guys, the next step is to get your isopropyl alcohol, a paper towel, spray it, and wipe it down. So what you want to do is you just want to have it on a mist and just lightly wipe it down. This is just at first to get all the contaminants off the toolbox. When we go ahead and use our sanding block on it, we're also going to wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol and you'll start seeing the aluminum residue coming off. All right guys, I got this 80 grit sanding block. As you can see, it says 60 and 80, so we're going to use the 80 grit side. We're just going to go back and forth. And up and down. And once I get that to where I want it, I'll bring you guys back. All right guys, now here's before and here's after. Obviously you can see it's a lot more dull. Step for this is to take your alcohol and your rag, wipe it down a couple times until you don't have that gray residue anymore. Just wiped it all down and that's what it should look like. Again, wipe it down until you don't see any more gray contaminants on that cloth. And then you're ready to move to the next step. In my circumstance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go all around the toolbox, get it all sanded first. I recommend doing that. And then we'll be ready to apply the bed liner. So I got my little sanding block. I'm going to use the 60 grit. So basically what I've been doing is I've been going back and forth, side to side, and then circular. This is aluminum. It would be best to use some sort of... Um, chemical that etches it or even if it was a primer but I'm gonna give it a shot doing this hopefully the results turn out good the whole surface sanded down I hope you can see that I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera but it definitely has a brushed aluminum look to it now it's not as shiny and it's all been wiped down two or three times with the alcohol just to get extra measures. I've sanded down the top um, about three times because to me that's the most important part. That's the part you're going to see. That as well as the front. So I think we're good. I'm going to get some bed liner shaken up and we'll go ahead and go for it. So what you just saw was our first coat, put it on thin, come back in five minutes and we'll be ready for our second coat. on the third coat.
guys, here it is. I just let it dry overnight. It's been about 12 hours so far. I just peeled off the tape. Dry to the touch. I'm gonna let this cure for at least 24 hours. Most likely I'll let it sit in here for a couple days just because I mean if you put all the effort into it you want it to last but uh came out really good I just the black to me is a lot better than the polished aluminum it's bedline now so it's not gonna rip or tear like the plastic dip did when my spare tire is rubbing around or if I have a bunch of wood stacked up or anything like that, so I am beyond happy. Hopefully I'll be able to give a review in a couple months of how it's holding up. But yeah, I'm I'm stoked. So basically now I'm at the point to where there's about a quarter inch lip of a non bedlined surface that goes all the way around. I'm debating on taping off the bed liner. I'd probably wait the 24 hours then I could put my tape here. Bedline the rail. And then I'm thinking about bedlining the floor and possibly the sides. And then I don't know, I'd put a tape line, I guess all the way across for the back. Or I'd just do the whole back piece up to here. Um, for all my items that go in here, I have a three-ton floor jack. You can see where it sits. Um, I don't know, I feel like it'd be a cool little touch and I have a little bit of bed line left. We used uh, five cans total so far. This has like a quarter of it left. But uh, the drop cloth worked nicely. As you can see how much overspray is there. Cleaned up a little bit around, but uh, really stoked on how this came out. I'll have a uh, a list of how much all this costs, but it's right around $65, which I don't know where you guys are. That's probably a lot cheaper than you can get done anywhere else. That's the lip I was talking about. And then if I did the lip, I would go completely over. So. I'll probably bring you back here in a second. Again, I'm gonna show you that list if I haven't already um, of what you're gonna need and the prices of them. Okay guys, I said I was gonna do the inside of the box, so I just took some crappy trash bags and uh, went around. So right now I'm getting the whole rail. Um, that's one really thick coat. If it runs, it runs on the trash bags. So, I mean, it really, it doesn't matter. I just kind of want to get a thick coat on there and be done with it. Um, not sure I'm going to do the inside without getting everything covered because that was kind of a pain. But uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm hey guys, it's a few days later and the toolbox is just looking awesome. So, uh, I ended up getting this rail done. I know I was going to say uh, I was going to do the inside of the box. But I think I'm going to hold off for a little bit on that. I think the box is great where it's at. Um, you know, it's already damaged and whatever on the bottom, so it really doesn't matter. If I get some more time later this summer, I'll go ahead and do it. But uh, hopefully you can see in the sun. If you see any of the striping on camera, it's actually just where um, kind of dents are. It took me a second to figure that out from where that jack would uh, hit the back on corners and whatnot, but I'm loving it. I'm going to have a sticker made right here. As you guys know, my license plate's Mad Max. I'm going to paint this black and have a white Mad Max sticker painted on there just because this is getting kind of chewed up. All right, so I just went ahead and uh, sanded it down with a little mixture of 60 and 80 grit sandpaper on that Husky logo just to get it nice and scuffed up. Now I'm about to spray some gloss black on it so when my light letters go on they pop. Alright guys, so there it is painted black with the Mad Max sticker. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that font and size. It does seem a little bit too big, but uh, anyways I think it looks good. 
So if you guys want to do this, I say go for it. It was about, with the sticker, it was about uh, $79. So pretty inexpensive, pretty easy, good project. So thanks for guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't.